Hey guys, welcome back to JD's Arcade. Today we're going to play a game based off of one of my favorite shows as a kid, and that is American Gladiators. Let's see it. Adapted from the popular television series that ran from 1989 to 1996, American Gladiators lets you compete in six different events. Joust, Wall, Human Cannonball, Powerball, Assault, and Eliminator. Depending on the event, you'll battle with padded sticks, climb walls while trying to avoid getting knocked off, swing on ropes to knock the other gladiator off his or her platform, scoop up balls and throw them into a chute, run through obstacle courses, avoid being hit with a high-speed ball launcher, and more. After you compete in all five events, the game resumes on a higher difficulty level with alternating patterns and stage layouts. If you complete all four levels, you'll open up a sixth event called the Eliminator. The graphics are plain, but the events are a fun diversion from standard sports video games. It includes three real gladiators from the TV show, Gold Laser and Nitro. The NES cartridge lacks the Atlasphere event that is in the Genesis and SNES versions. These games are neat at first. After level 1, boredom sets in. The wall is particularly pathetic. You have to alternate the A and B buttons to get your contestant up the wall. If you place one of his or her hands on an empty space, you fall and must start over. Very annoying. The joust and cannonball events are fun because of the screaming. The variety helps, but the poor graphics and repetitive plays sink this game. The Vault.